Nisa Mbola. The uh, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Trade, Cooperatives, SMEs and Communications, Honorable Monoa Kamikamida. Honorable Minister for Rural and Maritime Development, Honorable Sakazi Nditoka. Honorable Minister for Itoke Affairs, Honorable Ikari Mivasu. The United Nations Development Program Deputy Regional Director Asia and the Pacific, Mr. Christoph Bahut. Pacific Development Director for British Government, Mr. John Paul Penrose. Asian Development Bank Head of Programming, Ms. Jacqueline Cornell. Esteemed panelists, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to join you all this morning. And from the salutations, we appear to have the right representation. Government, private sector, develop and development partners. So it is an honor to be part of an agenda that is very near and dear to home and to the people of Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, we meet against the backdrop of our pursuit for a blue economy, an economy globally valued at approximately $1.5 trillion each year. The Pacific Ocean-based fishing and tourism alone provides billions to the regional economy. economy. Ladies and gentlemen, but it is so much more than numbers. Like many other small developing island states, the ocean is Fiji's single most important resource. We rely on it for every day's sustenance. We rely on a healthy marine environment for food security, for transport between our islands and with the rest of the world. We rely on it for trade and for tourism, our largest revenue earner. Ladies and gentlemen, in the last decade or so, as a nation, we have gone through multiple shocks, natural disasters, economic downturns, global conflicts, and a pandemic. Each of these crises has had direct bearing on our blue economy. For example, when we had no tourists, there was no demand by restaurants and hotels. With no demand, livelihoods of coastal communities who supplied seafood were affected. But with crisis comes lessons and opportunities for resilience. This is where our ocean and marine resources can play an important, important role if sustainably managed. Ladies and gentlemen, to sustain and preserve our marine resources is to sustain Fijian livelihoods. I love this saying from the UN website. It says, it can be hard to feel optimistic, but in Fiji, action is the antidote to despair. I love this when I, when I read this on the UNDP website, and I think it's very true, and most of us can relate to this. Ladies and gentlemen, as the coalition government, we made a commitment to be a government of the people, one that upholds the values of inclusivity and strong partnership. And this partnership requires genuine vested interests in and by the private sector, making them catalysts to unlocking our potential. The role of the private sector in this is very, very critical, and we welcome their, their part in this initiative. I can assure you potential is one thing that our peoples don't lack. What they need are opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, to fully realize Fiji's blue economic potential and to catalyze private sector development, the Fiji government is happy 
to work with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, on the Blue Accelerator Grant Scheme on no o in short bags. I understand it's the first incubator model of its kind in Fiji and the Pacific. Through this initiative, we are supporting investment-ready projects of businesses by nurturing the ability to secure private funds financing to scale up. This is an opportunity. The Honorable Kami Kamida and I come from the private sector. So we, so we have experienced challenges businesses face, something we'll work together on bettering. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that the financial sector invests favorably in businesses that have the capacity to pay back your loans, your equity, and your debts. And we also recognize any debt needs to be responsible. So by providing development support, and more importantly, access to finance, we can negate capital market gaps. What's wonderful to see, ladies and gentlemen, is that the bags received applications valued at nearly $9 million US, and they made the initial investments. Today we learn more about eight projects worth about $4.8 million, who will soon have further co-financing opportunities to grow. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm told that the bag synergizes and leverages Fiji's blue bond issuance, and we hope this model can serve the entire Pacific. Each of the eight projects, although representing different sectors, are interconnected. The blue economy is an ecosystem after all. One, they make to, they seek to make travel carbon neutral, both at land and sea, while modernizing maritime logistics. They support agriculture so we can produce more products such as prawns. It is dear to me, I'm a former hotelier and we always import a lot of prawns. Create community interest to use traditional fishing, right zones, for sustainable high value ventures. Leverage traditional knowledge and our natural resources to develop more of tourism products. Ladies and gentlemen, we are a growing, we have a growing tourism industry. In the first quarter of this year, our hotels and our national airline are recording numbers like never before. January to March is always the lowest period in tourism in Fiji. This year, first time in the history, the operators are recording, are reporting uh, huge numbers unlike in our history. With growing visitors and consumption comes growing demand. So when tourists come, they need to be fed. That's where sustained commercial ag agriculture comes. <clears throat> they travel between our islands, but the need for carbon neutral transport. They produce waste, which needs further dis proper disposal. They are more conscious and seek nature-based authentic products. So by protecting our ecosystem, from our reefs to the people that depend on it, Fiji can remain a pristine destination and continue to reap the benefits of a healthy ocean. As a tourism professional, this, is our, this will be our point of difference, the pristine environment. Let's all strive to make it happen for Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, for Fiji to turn to transition to a blue economy, we need to mobilize resources and expertise. We need to address barriers such as climate change awareness, knowledge and technology adaptation. Transformative change will only be realized through accelerated scalable and finance initiatives, and we can do this with coalitions and partnerships. So to our partners, UNDP, UNCDF, ADB, and the government of the United Kingdom, we know a lot can be achieved through partnership, and it is our hope. Technical and financial support ensures the continuity of this initiative. To the successful projects being incubated, I look forward to seeing each of you grow and continue to, your, to your, contribute to your communities, to our ocean ecosystem, and to the economy.